so Frito Lovers, it's Ben Ramos bringing you this week's tasting video from my palatial home here in the Northwest Bronx. The Bronx is the home of hip hop and salsa. I am buried under a mountain of three Goya tortilla chip snacks. Look at this, guys. Goya is really, really upping their snack game. I mean, I've never seen these before up until recently. I mean, come on. Goya has been making juca chips and platano chips and tostone chips. I mean, they are really upping their snack game. Check this out. I mean, and it only makes sense. Goya, which sells everything Latino under the sun, is finally doing their own tortilla chips. Right here, we have black bean, barbecue black bean and corn chips. This one is corn black bean chips. This one is like chia, quinoa, flaxseed. I mean, they all sound pretty good. And look, guys, they're all like gluten-free. Um, low sodium, good source of iron. This one is gluten free, also a good source of iron. Look, if you want to be healthy, Goya is giving you some chips to really, really enjoy and savor. I hope you guys are doing well. I want to get into the. Ugh. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay. Wow, these things are really, really well packaged. Ugh. Okay, so I'm trying out the corn and black bean tortilla chip. Is there any, oh, there's copy in the back. Perfectly seasoned with an authentic barbecue taste, these deliciously thin corn and black bean chips are sure to be a crab favorite. Try them with your favorite dip. I don't have dip because I want to just taste what the chip tastes like. Okay, so look at the chip. This one, again, black bean corn barbecue or barbecue corn black bean. Mira, mira, mira. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. 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 Delicious, very much a pronounced corn flavor because it's a tortilla chip. I can get like the savory earthiness of the black bean. And it's got like a cheddar season, a uh, cheddar, I'm so sorry. I mean, a barbecue seasoning. Mm. Okay. Delicious, our first one is delicious. Barbecue corn black bean tortilla chips from Goya. Oh, si es Goya, tiene que ser bueno. Remember that? Old school Latinos, remember that old commercial? Si es Goya, tiene que ser bueno. If it's Goya, it's gotta be good. We Latinos are brand loyal. You know why? Because when we're in the United States and we want our flavors, our seasonings, our products, Goya was always there for us. Oh. We are brand loyal. I hope you guys are doing well. Just bringing you a quick, man, these things are packaged like they don't want you to get into them. <laughs> wow. They cannot stand up to my fangs though. These good teeth. Okay, so this one is just corn and black bean. No, no barbecue. I'm assuming they're gonna be, okay. They look basically a lot like the other chip, except that there's no orange seasoning denoting the barbecue flavor. Yeah. Yeah. They are right about the low sodium. You barely taste any salt. Mmm. Yeah. Barely any salt, gluten-free, high source of iron. Again, I get the delicious corn flavor. I get the black bean. I think if you want to add some extra salt to it, that's where maybe your dip comes in. Oh, these would be great in sour cream, salsa, guacamole, maybe a barbecue dip, French onion. You know, I start off with the Latino one because, you know... For me, dip is always either sour cream, guacamole, or salsa. Okay, me gusta. Even without the extra barbecue flavoring, the black bean and corn, pretty fly. 
Mm. Okay, the copy on all of them is exactly the same. This one is the most interesting. Corn, chia, quinoa, flaxseed. Okay, when they said this was a good source of iron, they're not playing. This one sounds like it's going to be extremely healthy. I mean, quinoa is a superfood. And um, flaxseed is also a superfood. These are all things that are super healthy for us. Lord. My God, what do they do? These things will not break easily at all. Okay. But look, look inside. I haven't done this all the other chips, but look inside. Let's look at these together. I've never, oh, well, look, very much a tortilla chip that is bespeckled. It's got flaxseed, corn, chia. It's got everything that's good for you that comes from Latin America. <laughs> Latin America is real big. You know, of course, quinoa is from South America. Flaxseed. I don't know if flaxseed is actually indigenous to the Americas um, and Latin America, but I know that there's a lot of chia and flaxseed flax stuff found in Latin America. So, been talking too much, look at the chip. Man, when they say low sodium, they mean it, wow. This one probably tastes the most healthy. Little to no salt. A very healthy, you know, like when you buy some of that vegan stuff or vegetarian stuff, like those fake chips, alternatives to chips, they taste like this, little stale, very seedy. Yeah, very seed-like and seed-forward. Yeah. And then that quinoa taste, which is kind of blandish. Mm. Okay. So frito lovers. If you are one of these die-hard, super healthy, I need something to push off, you know, keep my bowel movements regular. This one is good for you. This one's the flaxseed, the, the quinoa. Not a lot of taste. This definitely needs dip. <laughs> um, my least favorite, least favorite. It's, it's very diet tasting, very healthy tasting. Second favorite, of course, the black bean and corn tortilla. This is great, this is delicious. I can't wait to dip them in salsa, guacamole, sour cream, maybe some melted queso. Ooh, queso. I love the taste of beans with queso, especially like Mexican stuff. Aye. Okay, folks, the winner. It wasn't a taste test. It wasn't a competition. But if it was, the winner is the barbecue flavoring. This one is delicious. They're all good. But, you know, I rated them. This one is my favorite. I love that tangy, smoky barbecue flavor. This one, I'm sure, with sour cream or some guac. I don't know about salsa, but sour cream and guac and maybe some queso because I love beans and queso together. Those refried bean chips that you dip them in queso, I think they're incredible. Goya, you need to make those refried bean chips. I forgot what the company was that made those refried bean chips. Those are amazing. But Goya needs to get on it. So, hey, I'm applauding Goya for once. Wow. Some really good snack alternatives to, like, regular tortilla chips and, and potato chips. This is really good. I'm These two my favorite. This one, eh, it's good. It's just, you know, very dietetic. blandish and very seed forward these two right here packed with flavor so sobrito lovers these snacks are popping up everywhere goya is making platano chips tostones chips they're making chicharrones and they're finally making tortilla chips goya is really getting into the snack game i mean you've seen me do the juca chips and the platano and tostones chips those things were amazing i eat them all the time mm. 
Not so much the chicharrones, because I'm not a big chicharron fan these days. But um, I'm adding these to the repertoire. These two definitely going to be stocked on my shelves as much as possible. So, Sofrito lovers, if you like this video, like it, share it, comment, subscribe. When you see these Goya products, pick them up. Of course, it's not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid by Goya to do this, but I'm really impressed with like the snack movement and what they're planning on doing with snacks. Go out there, go taste for yourself. Follow me on all my social media, Sofrito and My Soul on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Sofritoandmysoul.com is my blog. Sofritoandmysoul.com. Check out my blog, amazing recipes, articles, food events, blah, 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 all that foodie stuff. So go out there, go taste for yourself. Go try these. If you see these in your bodegas or in your supermarkets, pick them up. These guys have been appearing in all the local neighborhood bodegas, the Mexican bodegas, the Dominican ones, um, Fine Fair, Morton Williams, all these uh, supermarkets that are in Latino communities. So visit a Latino community if you're not in one and pick these up. These are great. Como siempre, go out there, go taste for yourself, go have some culinary adventures. Mucho amor.